right, here we have my uh, slow sand water filter. This is the same one I copied off of Cryptic Cricket. Here's the one that I've already completed, and here's the one I've just started on here. Alright, a few of the marks I've made on here, you might be able to see. This is where the sand level is supposed to go to. Here's where we want the water to stay to. And the top green mark. No, I'm sorry, this is. Um, yeah, this is where the water is supposed to be, too. Which, right here, the bottom of this is supposed to be down there, so that's a little high. If you get above two inches, the biofilm is not going to get enough water, or enough air through the water to survive. So this one is actually, this is actually the second one that I did. Um, I used a metal fitting here at the bottom. And um, had trouble with having it leaking. So I messaged Cryptic Cricket and he recommended using this goop, which works really well. And that's what I used here, and it doesn't leak. You can see it's it's holding water. Oops. You can see it's holding water. I just dumped that out of the tube by lowering it down. The tube is full, and you can see when you mess with it, water is dripping down. You lower that down. So it holds water now. The problem is that Goop, when I actually read the instructions, it said to keep away from food or water. Um, I don't remember exactly what it said, but basically not for use in drinking water. So that was the only thing I can get. Now, so th that was the only way I was able to get it to stop leaking. This one this is my second one, I think I said that, um, that I made. So what I did on this third attempt is, and by the way, that goop did stop the leak. This one and the first one, which had a bigger leak, both of them hold water now and work fine. So I'm still going to run those and test it, um, have the water tested and see how it comes out. I mean, I know that a lot of times companies have to be extra careful due to lawsuits and whatever. Although since this is, you know, my water supply for WROL situation, I want to be extra careful as well. So, I started on the third one. And this time, you see I used a plastic connector there. And um, I still had another metal connector, so after I drilled the hole, I actually used the metal one, screwed it in there a couple of times to kind of form the, the threads. I know there are tools that you can do, use to do that, I just don't have those tools. So I used the metal one, and then I used the same um, the same glue, or whatever it's called, that I used to attach this bottom cap here onto um, onto the tube and that is safe for potable water it says so on the container let me show you this is actually what I use right here PVC cement here's the saw I used to cut it it's just a this is a cheap one at uh, Home Depot. Most of the stuff here I bought. This one's for plastic pipe. So that worked well. Um, in, the, in the beginning I was planning on making two, but the pipe was long enough that when I cut it, it um, there was enough to make three of them. Now this one was the end piece. It does have this slice in the middle. 
which I wasn't worried about at the beginning because I wasn't planning on using the end but it worked out so I'll just have to figure out how to put the cap on the top on the previous ones I used the same cap as the bottom but obviously that one won't fit over the top of this one so alright the next step was to um, cut out a length of this tubing here so that it would run up and I twisted mine around just because that's how I saw the Cryptic Cricket did it I don't know if there's any purpose for that or what but if I don't know what I'm doing which I don't for a lot of this I will just imitate what I've seen other people do so um, so the, the piece is longer than it may have needed to be and so that I can get a nice elbow here use this 90 degree which I think is the same one that Cryptic Cricket used on his mine's a little high it's only supposed to be two inches from the top of the sand to the, and the elbow should be right here to get enough air to the biofilm layer so I will have to this is just temporary tape so I figure out where I'm going to keep this at. They see a bunch of stuff on my back, on my back porch here. So anyway, then another piece. This one's a little bit shorter. No, it's about the same. Three feet, three feet long. Exits out. I read another one, another thing somewhere about heating this up. This is after I built this one so that it will straighten out because mine kind of does this thing and I want it to you know pour down into a container and not just sit there so I'll have to look into that here so that's what we're going to do right now for this third one is cut a tube three feet long we'll connect it up here to the tube then I'm going to fill it with water and see whether it leaks or not so let's get that going so here's my next three foot tube. This one's nice because it has these little markers every foot. And so I just use that to rough measurement. This one doesn't have to be exact. And then to cut it, I just use a little pocket knife here. Fold it over the piece. Just fold it over and then just slice through that. I know I might be a little more detailed than necessary on this video, but if you're someone like me, you don't have any idea what you're doing getting into it. I just want to try and explain every little piece, just for ease of use. So when I drilled this hole here at the bottom um, for that to fit into, I used a wood drill, three quarter inch, which the guy at Home Depot recommended against, but the drill that was made for the PVC pipe was like four times as much, and my budget's tight, so I used this. And I had some trouble, you have to be very careful and um, just slow and when you get to the end, it's, uh, a couple of them pulled the drill to the side which then made a huge gouge on the side of the hole, which then is a huge problem for water leaking out of, that, out of the bottom. It doesn't take much for water to escape through there so you had to be really careful the first two I had some pretty nasty gouges that it took a while to re-gluing and re-gluing until finally it was able to get a good connection at the bottom this one I think I did pretty good I was really slow and steady so just be careful on that have... so here we have the tube cut that we're going to put on there and we're just going to use these little Little screw clamps here. For some reason, I want to call them a C clamp, but that's not what they're called. Um, 
And here, a different part of the video I talked about, this is the one I used on the previous ones, instead of this plastic piece. They look almost exactly the same, but this one now I use to try and pre-thread. And it's worked pretty well so far. You can see I've scratched it up from using the wrench on it, in and out on that hole, so that then I can screw the plastic one in there, and then use the PVC cement instead of goop to get that to seal. But anyways, we're going to get this on here and we're going to use a little clamp, tighten that up, fill it up with water and see if uh, the third one leaks or not. This will be the if it doesn't leak, this will be the first one that on the first attempt I was able to get it uh leak proof. So wish me luck here.